Hello, welcome to Total Fight Time. I'm your host, Major League of Gaming Trap. This is the series where I choose a bunch of random characters to fight each other. We will learn about their power, strength, weaknesses to see who would win a fight or not. Alright, let us see the fighter for tonight. Kid Buu is the original, pure form of Majin Buu. He is an ancient force of destruction that has existed since time immemorial, cycling between periods of rampage and first and hibernation. During his rampages, he absorbed the evil elements of rage as he eradicated Empress and steadily became more violent and evil. The evil mage Baby Dimu had to summon Empress and control him Empress and eventually used him to slaughter most of the Supreme Kings. After absorbing the Grand Supreme Kai, however, he was transformed into a less evil horse by the Kai's influence Empress and was later sealed by Baby D before his death. Kid Buu destroyed the galaxy over the course of a few years. If Goku, Ampers, and Vegeta had lost, then the universe would have no longer had a future. The living world is infinite in size, Ampers, and galaxies are composed of immeasurable nebula. He caused extensive damage to the world of the Kai's in his fight with Goku, the planet the size of multiple galaxies. He is also in flight to be the strongest form of Buu, the King King of Avalon, whose stream was going to destroy the universe by crushing it with other universes. Making him low multiversal level. Shin says we destroy countless world rampers and entire galaxies in a few short years. When showing off the Super Saiyan 3 form for the first time, Goku creates Earthquake Rampers and sends Shockwave Delta as far as the Kaioshin realm. The universe is said to be infinite in size, making him infinite. He traded blows with SSJ3 Goku. Kid Buu is monstrous, almost animalistic and intelligent, but retains his skill in combat and first and techniques mimicry. Kid Buu is fairly unintelligent and first and prone to fooling around in fights, taunting and first and mocking opponents rather than going all out and first and destroying them immediately. Who has the short temper and first and is easily angered. Overall, even with those flaws, Kid Buu still proves himself to be one of the most dangerous villains in all of Dragon Ball. Super Sonic is a destructive psychotic ampers and violent entity ampers and transformation of Sonic who takes over his body whenever he is in trouble or has too much stress. He was created during the radiation exposure of the Chaos Emerald, taking over his position to destroy everyone as he wished. However, he now existed as a separate entity, being sent to the Special Zone ampers and now destroying everyone or things as he wished. He is far superior to Base Sonic, who is the product and first and essence of Chaos Energy. The waste of Chaos Energy can turn into an entire universe-sized zone with its space time after attempting to warp to another dimension. The battle between every Sonic and first and Robotnik in history was stated to be a battle that would destroy their timeline. Not played out cold in a single strike, the being whose power could threaten Sonic's fabric of reality is powered with a complete emerald-like god Robotnik and first and perfect Chaos. Sonic stated he could destroy the Special Zone. God Robotnik effortlessly the Special Zone multiple times and first and likely affected the entire Sonic the Comic Multiverse, which contains several alternate dimensions, and first and potentially innumerable separate timelines created from every conceivable possibility and first and from every respective point in time, making him multiversal level. He's faster than anyone in the Freedom Fighters, including Tails Ampers and Knuckle, who are able to cross the dimensional bridge, the bridge between two realms with the underneath of the void being a non-existent space, making him immeasurable. He survived being launched into the Black Meteor Ampers and can endure millions of degrees. He is capable of problem-solving skill 7 intelligent usage of speed, but is unlikely to use it unless pressed due to relying on his power and percent for courage. 
he can make a basic plan ampersand becoming able to speak in mortal sentences. He is somewhat simple-minded, he's very arrogant and sadistic, often holding back to prolong his opponent's suffering. Supersonic will die if drained of all his chaos energy, so this weakness is not present when he resides within Sonic. Overall, even with those flaws, Supersonic is still one of the most dangerous and destructive regions of Supersonic to exist. Alright viewers, now that the prey analysis is done, let us get into who wins this fight and why. So look at the stats, the answer of who wins is as clear as night and death, but if this is a total pump, Kid Buu will be a very difficult opponent for Super Sonic thanks to his abilities, with his power mimicry, his almost godlike regeneration, and being able to turn anyone into candy, he will still give Super Sonic a run for his money. But it doesn't change how Super Sonic still has the advantage in every category except abilities, skills, and experience. Also, in Dragon Ball, if someone is stronger than the other, then they could counter their abilities, like when Vegeta was turned into candy and he could still fight and when Goku broke through his time attacks. So in conclusion, Super Sonic wins due to being more powerful, faster, and having slightly more intelligence. Next time on Total Fight Time.